I'm Jordan Rayner, and this is The Word Before Work. Today we're reading from Matthew 6, verse 34. Here's what Jesus said. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Again, that's Jesus speaking in Matthew 6, verse 34. We're in a series exploring five pieces of double-sided wisdom we see in Scripture. And today we come to the couplet of biblical commands to plan for tomorrow and focus on today. The virtues of the first side of this double-sided wisdom can be seen in Proverbs 21, verse 5. Quote, the plans of the diligent lead to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty. Jesus echoed this idea in Luke 14, 28 through 30, where he assumes that a good worker will, quote, first sit down and estimate the cost before building a tower. In these passages and others, we see that it is wise to plan for the future, but the flip side of this double-sided wisdom is to, quote, not worry about tomorrow, end quote, and focus on today. See Matthew 6, 34. So, how can we both plan for tomorrow and stay focused on today? Here are three practices that work well for me. Number one, schedule recurring times on your calendar to plan for the future. If you fail to plan for tomorrow, you plan to fail and worry about tomorrow, which is why I have three recurring items on my calendar, a quarterly, weekly, and daily review to plan what I will work on in the upcoming quarter, week, and day. This level of planning massively helps me not worry about tomorrow. Why? Because as David Allen says, quote, you can only feel good about what you're not doing when you know what you're not doing, end quote. These reviews help ensure that I know what I'm choosing not to do. Number two, Block tomorrow's worries from your physical view. The daily review I just mentioned is the only time I look at my calendar for tomorrow. Once my review is complete, I set my calendar back to show today only, and that simple habit removes a ton of temptation to worry about tomorrow because it allows me to focus on what I believe God has called me to do today. Finally, number three, when you're feeling worried about tomorrow, Take it to the Lord in prayer. Anxiety is the symptom that we're not holding the tension between planning for the future and focusing on today well. When you experience symptoms of anxiety, tense muscles, a wandering mind, shallow breathing, etc., remember Philippians 4, 6-7. through By prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. With those practices in hand, go forth and focus fully on the good works God has prepared for you to do today. Today's devotional only scratches the surface of how God's word connects to our work. If you want to go deeper, sign up for my free 20-day devotional called The Word Before Work Foundations at TWBWFoundations.com. These email devotionals are designed to help you gain a rich understanding of the biblical narrative of work, how exactly your work matters for eternity, and what those truths mean for how we ought to work today. You can sign up right now again for free at TWBWFoundations.com.